August is craft beer month here in Virginia, so Lindy and I decided to celebrate. Yes, we decided to make our first stop here in Delville, Virginia at the Flying Mouse Brewery, and we're here with Frank Moeller. Frank, Hi. thanks for having us out. We're ready oh, to thanks. celebrate. Yeah, so, yeah, that's great. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about uh, the Flying Mouse. Uh, well, um, we're just uh, one of the uh, eight breweries on the uh, Virginia's Blue Ridge Beer Way. Uh, we're the northernmost brewery right off I-81 at exit 150, and we're really happy to uh, kind of bring August in as Virginia's Craft Beer Month and try to get as many people out here as we can, as well as to visit the other breweries in the region and really enjoy all the great craft beer that's being developed in this area. It's yes. really fantastic. There's a lot of them, too, but you have this uh, nice little pamphlet here, yeah. and people can grab one of these at any one of the Anyone. breweries and get stamps, right? That's right. Uh, we have a stamp prizes. at each one. It basically acts as a passport, and you can bring it around to each one of the local breweries, uh, get it stamped, and get it eligible for a lot of really great prizes that we're going to be giving out next month after the uh, craft beer month's over. So it's it's a really great program. It gets a lot of people thinking about tourism and supporting mm -hmm. local business, and really that's what we're all about here at Flying Mouse. Yeah, and the craft breweries have really grown here in Virginia over the past couple of years, oh, too. Oh, it, yeah, so, it's gotten big. Yeah. It's gotten really big. And this is a great way to try out all the craft mm -hmm. beer mm -hmm. and celebrate, I guess, the whole month of August, and then you get awarded next that's month, right. right? We're right in the middle of the big event season for craft beer, and I think that uh, it's a really great time for a lot of people to come out and see all that this area of Virginia has to offer. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about where we are right now like Lindy said we're in Daleville but you would never know it because you look around here that's you have right. this huge industrial building yeah. but you're set in the woods that's yeah. right we've got an eight, <laughs> we got an 18,000 square foot facility uh, what you're sitting in right now is our, our brew bay which mm -hmm. is about uh, 6,400 square feet it's really nice and big we're running off well water uh, we've got make great beers out here but one of the think the best things about our place is we're sitting on 15 acres of forested land only about a mile or two off the highway. The AT goes right up over there to uh, Tinker Cliffs and the McAfee Knob, and we get people uh, through hikers all throughout the season. We get bicyclists, we get people that just want to come out and enjoy the day. They bring their pets, they can bring carry out food. Uh, we just you know welcome anybody that wants to come by and really enjoy a few cold beers and uh, have a good time. All right. All right. Would you like to enjoy a few? Cold I was going to say <laughs> yes. Let's try some. You have eight out right here. now. Yeah, we've got about eight beers on tap right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they range everything from light to dark. We number all our flagship beers from light to dark. So mm -hmm. we got the Flying Mouse Three, which is our Kolsch, uh, the Four, which is our Smooth Hop IPA, the Flying Mouse Five is our Pale Ale, the Flying Mouse Eight is our Porter. We've got the uh, brown ale, which has become very popular. We've got a rye IPA we made for the spring, a summer super wheat that we made Ooh. for the summer, and we've got our uh, ESB 140. Okay. Well, which one are you going to try? I'll say you try. I was going to try this brown ale. I was going to try. Well, I'll do the. I Did I take yours? No. Yeah. It's going to be the porter, so I'll try it. Get the month one, of beer celebrating started off right. And one Ooh, thing we nice. like to do at uh, Flying Mouse, which may be a little bit different than uh, some of the other breweries, uh, is when we developed this brewery, we kind of went into it with the idea of aligning our brewery with outdoor activity. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we try to make beers that people can drink all day long. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, one of our catchphrases is we try to make beers you drink by the gallon, not by the glass. That's not about over drinking. <laughs> it's the idea that you can drink a beer that's really refreshing. It's the idea that it's a, an adult uh, refreshing drink that really works well with your outdoor activities. It's not too heavy, right. it's not too anything, it's not too sweet, not too hoppy. And the idea is that every beer I make here, I try to make so that people can really enjoy it when they're doing things outside. We encourage everyone to get outside and uh, tour some of these and go on the beer way. Yeah, and if people want to learn more about you, what's your, do you have a website? We have a website, flyingmousebrewery.com. We also have a Facebook page. We try to have bands and food trucks out here occasionally and really make it a fun place for people to be. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks for having us out here. You're certainly welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to August. Yeah. Go beer. <laughs>